Hey guys, I'm Sarah and today we'll be exploring another one of our evolutionary ancestors. The life and evolution of Homo habilis. In the vast expanse of human prehistory, few species hold as much intrigue and significance as Homo habilis. Often referred to as handyman, this early human species is believed to be one of the first members of the genus Homo. Discovered in the ancient terrains of Africa, Homo habilis marks a critical juncture in the evolutionary lineage leading to modern humans, showcasing a blend of primitive and advanced traits that have intrigued scientists for decades. The story of Homo habilis began in the early 1960s when famed paleoanthropologists Louis and Mary Leakey unearthed a series of fossils in Olduvai Gorge, Tanzania. Among these, a partial skull and hand bones stood out, revealing a creature with a larger brain capacity than Australopithecus, but with primitive skeletal features. This blend of characteristics led the Leakeys to propose a new species, Homo habilis, a pivotal figure in human evolution. Fossil evidence of Homo habilis has since been found in several locations across East and South Africa, including Kubifora in Kenya and Sterkfontein in South Africa. These fossils, dated to approximately 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago, provide crucial insights into the morphology, behavior, and lifestyle of this early human species. Homo habilis exhibited a fascinating mix of both primitive and more advanced traits. Standing about 3.5 to 4.5 feet tall, with a body mass ranging from 70 to 100 pounds, H. habilis was relatively small compared to later members of the Homo genus. Its cranial capacity ranged between 500 to 700 cubic centimeters, larger than Australopithecus, but significantly smaller than that of modern humans. The skull of Homo habilis was characterized by a less pronounced brow ridge and a smaller, flatter face compared to its ancestors. The dental structure showed a reduction in size, indicating a potential shift in diet and food processing techniques. The hand bones, particularly the thumb, were more human-like, suggesting an advanced ability to manipulate objects and create tools. Homo habilis is renowned for its association with early stone tools, a discovery that fundamentally altered our understanding of human cognitive evolution. These tools, part of what is known as the Older One Toolkit, included simple choppers, flakes, and scrapers. The ability to create and use these tools marked a significant advancement in hominin technology aiding in the processing of food, defense, and possibly hunting. The lifestyle of Homo habilis was likely semi-nomadic, with groups moving across landscapes in search of food and resources. Their diet was diverse, comprising meat, fruits, nuts, and roots. The use of tools suggests they could scavenge meat from carcasses, breaking bones to extract marrow, a rich source of nutrition. This dietary flexibility may have provided a crucial advantage in the varying climates and environments of Pleistocene Africa. Socially, Homo habilis likely lived in small cooperative groups. While there is limited direct evidence of complex social structures, the shared use of tools and the need for collective defense against predators hint at a degree of social organization and communication. The place of Homo habilis within the human evolutionary tree has been a subject of extensive debate. Some paleoanthropologists argue that the morphological diversity seen in Homo habilis fossils suggests it might encompass more than one species. Others propose that Homo habilis represents a direct ancestor of later human species, such as Homo erectus. Recent discoveries and advanced dating techniques continue to refine our understanding of Homo habilis. For instance, the exact relationship between Homo habilis and contemporary species like Australopithecus, Sediba, and Paranthropus are still under investigation. Additionally, the precise role of tool use in driving the evolution of brain size and cognitive abilities remains a key question. The significance of Homo habilis lies in its position as a bridge between more primitive Australopithecines and later, more advanced humans. The cognitive and technological advancements of Homo habilis set the stage for further evolutionary developments, including the emergence of Homo erectus, 
which exhibited even greater brain expansion and more sophisticated tools. In the grand tapestry of human evolution, Homo habilis represents a critical chapter, highlighting the complex interplay of biology, environment, and behavior that has shaped the human lineage. The discoveries of Homo habilis fossils and tools have not only enriched our understanding of early human life, but also underscored the adaptive ingenuity that is a hallmark of our species. The life and evolution of Homo habilis continue to captivate scientists and the public alike. As new fossils are unearthed and technologies for analyzing them improve, our picture of this early human species becomes ever more detailed and nuanced. Homo habilis, with its blend of primitive and advanced traits, stands as a testament to the dynamic and intricate process of human evolution, a process that has ultimately led to the emergence of modern humans. If you like what you see, please don't forget to leave a polite comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for new content.